the buzzer. Magic up 
a worldwide phenomenon, making a revolution in the fighting game industry until mid-90s. Then it stepped down from the throne, during its transition into 3D, only to return with the last in 2011. Join MK Secrets, and let's make a review of the history of the title that changed our childhood, our future, and the world of fighting games forever. Two teams were formed at Midway to work on two parallel Mortal Kombat titles. Ed Boon and his team focused on the development of the next major installment of the fighting game series. At the same time, John Tobias and his team wanted to explore the background stories of the characters and focused on the very first action-adventure game of the franchise. A decision was made to connect the characters and the stories of the two games so that people who have played them both could immerse in the world of Mortal Kombat as never before. Mortal Kombat Anthologies Sub-Zero. Mortal 
combat mythologies Sub-Zero was released for PlayStation in October 1997. The Nintendo 64 version appeared in December 1997. The game was the first of several planned Mortal Kombat titles to explore the origins of key characters of the franchise. The story takes place before the events of the first game and follows the Lin Kuei warrior Sub-Zero on a quest to return the amulet of the fallen elder god, Shinnok, which he was hired to steal at the beginning of the game. While on his journey, Sub-Zero meets Scorpion and the player is introduced to the beginning of the rivalry between the two fighters. The story is told with the help of full motion videos created with live actors playing the characters against the green screen and 3D special effects. Unfortunately, the cinematic videos were replaced with static images in the Nintendo version due to the limited storage space on the cartridge. The official website of the game included a detailed story section which explained the background of the characters, starting with the creation of the reality, the Elder Gods, and the battle between Shinnok and the God of Thunder, Radiant. To create a more realistic and dark atmosphere for the game, the developers created the levels and some of the bigger enemies entirely in real-time 3D, while using digitized live actors for the human characters. Familiar faces from the past games return to bring old and new characters to life. This makes Mortal Kombat Mythologies the last Mortal Kombat game to use digitized graphics. on the story, the game introduced a lot of new characters. Some of them quickly become fan favorites and play important roles in the Mortal Kombat franchise ever since. Shinnok, a fallen elder god and ruler of the Netherrealm. Quan Chi, a free-roaming sorcerer, powerful in the Black Arts. He is on a quest to restore Shinnok's powers, which are locked inside the amulet. Fuji, the god of wind, and one of the protectors of the amulet. He and the other three elemental gods must ensure that the amulet never falls into the wrong hands. Sarina, a demon from the Netherrealm. She is one of the three assassins who serve Shin. Unlike the other two, she has an agenda on her own. And the Grand Master of the Lin Kuei. Concept to a hellhound, a demonic dog-like creature, made its way online during the production of the game. Its fate remains however a mystery, as it does not appear in the final version. Several other changes were made during the development, including an alternate ending, in which Sub-Zero returns to his clan after failing his mission. franchise, secrets are important part of mythologies. Depending on the decisions made by the player, several details of the story and the outcome of the game can be altered. Although good, many of the players considered the 2D gameplay and graphics outdated when compared to the very popular and new at the time 3D games. The game was also criticized for its difficulty and controls unfit for an action-adventure title with platform elements. Most problematic was the use of a separate button to turn the character around. In spite of these things, the game sold over one million copies worldwide and was a commercial success. This led to the creation of a portable version in 1998. <laughs>
Mortal Kombat Mythology's Sub-Zero ends with the introduction of yet a familiar character, leading directly to the first Mortal Kombat. It seems your exploits have caught the eye of another sorcerer. I would like you to meet Shao Tsung on your services. His name is Shao Tsung, and he would like you to compete in a small tournament. It's called Mortal Kombat. Hello. 